So I mentioned that I've been shooting a lot of film lately and I've gone around to like developing and scanning the film. So now I actually have something to work with and share with you guys. So that's basically what we're going to be going over today. I'm going to be talking about uh, and sharing uh, several different film roles on Portra 160 that I took about a month and a half ago when we were in Sequoia National Park, Kings Canyon to be specific. And I think I think moreover the experience of shooting film and also kind of the images that came out of them are very different. Very not what I'm used to because you know we shoot a lot of digital on this channel here but I'm pretty excited about them because I think they have a certain aesthetic and charm to them as well. So this is about my third or fourth role of shooting film. I've been shooting with the Konica Auto Reflex TC. Uh, this is the SLR that came with the Konica Hexanon 40mm f1.8 lens that I bought back in the day. That was kind of a manual lens I wanted to use on a Fuji kind of body, but I had this SLR lying around, so I might as well have shot with it. So yeah, and I didn't really notice until after I'd scanned a lot of the film that there's this little light leak on the camera. So it's been showing up in some of the films occasionally, but I don't mind it too much. It's kind of a, I don't know, film's not meant to be perfect anyways. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the pictures you just saw right now were actually of like the first or second day of our camping trip. We were staying at this campground near Success Lake, which is kind of on the outskirts of the Sequoia National Park because it was really hard to find a campsite this year. So we didn't quite get one until like later in our trip. But uh, the, the lake we were staying at was extremely, extremely hot. Like temperatures were getting up to as, as high as 110, maybe even higher. And it was, the heat was like, unbearable it was it was verge of heat stroke type heat and it was pretty crazy because we've been going through extreme cold and extreme heat just this year alone through my travels and stuff like that but those were really fun uh, i think i was kind of experimenting with this slr a bit so i was missing focus a bit but it wasn't too bad there was this image in particular was a really cool one so i'm going to try and print an 8x10 photo out of this so i've been making this kind of scrapbook fully comprised of just 8x10 prints, high quality 8x10 prints that I'm kind of filling out throughout the year and working on and making. And I thought it would be interesting to include this one because I actually shot a um, like a self portrait of this exact kind of shot um, through one of my Fujifilm cameras. And I didn't realize I took the same, almost the same picture with the film camera as well. And I thought it would be cool to kind of panel these side by side. So we're gonna print that out right now. And I don't know what kind of paper choice I'm going for right here, but I think kind of the parallels of these two images side by side will look pretty cool.
So that's that. This is kind of a cool little project I'm working on the side and then just seeing kind of what the collection brings together and looks like when it's all completed. But that's definitely a cool addition to the photo book. I wanted to see how 35 millimeter film kind of translates to print medium and I wasn't entirely sure if it would work out or not, if there would be enough resolution or anything like that in the film quality to kind of get a good 8x10 print out of it. But so shooting with Portrait 160, I've also noticed that it's kind of hard to get good exposure at night. It's not really a nighttime type film. And again, I'm still pretty new to film, so I'm not entirely sure what is a good nighttime film. But Portrait 160 was hard to get good exposure. I really noticed that you kind of have to overexpose your film to get good photos. So I was taking a few shots at night and they didn't turn out well because they were very highly grained and kind of the dynamic range wasn't there, you know what I mean? But kind of on our last day in Kings Canyon, after we had gotten a campsite, we went out to explore kind of the river a bit more. And I got some really, really awesome images here. I think the colors came out really, really nice, uh, especially because, like I said, I was overexposing a new role and I felt more comfortable kind of handling a film camera now. So. So these pictures came out really, really well, and I was actually surprised when I was scanning them how nice they looked and how little I had to do to edit film. The colors were just already there and they looked kind of the way you wanted them, you know what I mean? So I was really pleased with these, this batch of photos especially. So that kind of wraps up the video for today. That was Kings Canyon in Portra 160. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this batch of images in this video in general. If you did, please do like the video down below. Subscribe to this channel for more, I don't know, camera stuff, photography stuff. I will be shooting a lot more film and I'll be kind of developing a lot of different roles that I've collected over the past few months to share with you guys. So hopefully that's something of interest for you as well. But I'm finding this whole kind of film experience to be pretty interesting, at least in the way it's shaping my perspective and perception of photography. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. So. We'll see where this kind of takes me down further along the road. I'm still shooting digital, don't worry. I feel like they both have their kind of place and role in a creator's kind of uh, kit. But yeah, 
That's it for me today. Thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you in another one. Peace.